Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. The spotted frog debate returns. Central Oregon farmers are struggling to irrigate their crops during this severe drought as wildlife is being protected. Carly Keenan's here with more on the next steps. Carly? Lee, they're gathering tonight at the Deschutes County Fairgrounds to discuss their options. They fear if nothing changes, they may have nothing left next year. The Deschutes Basin Habitat Conservation Plan protects spotted frogs, bull trout, and other wildlife. It also limits the amount of water for ranchers and farmers. That limit, plus a severe drought, is taking a toll on them. At this point, we really have nothing to lose. That's why Johanna Simons organized a meeting for farmers to come up with a better balance between irrigation and conservation. Simons wants to amend the current plan and add infrastructure that would take water from Lake Billy Chinook. She says most of her farmland is dry. We are not going to be feeding probably any cattle this winter um, because we cannot find the commodities. Todd Heisler with the Central Oregon Land Watch says protected wildlife like the spotted frog are declining in record numbers. While he was unavailable to speak on camera, he told me they sympathize with farmers, but says water users with first priority to the river are the most inefficient. He states, the way forward must include all of the conservation measures available to us, not just main canal piping. These measures can consist of piping private laterals, improving irrigation systems on farm, administering a water bank that can reallocate water resources through water leasing, water transfers, and other incentive-based approaches. So I'm looking for a short-term solution in order to where we're all still around to enjoy a long-term solution. What are you willing to compromise then to find that balance? There's already been a lot of compromise. I still have a lot of the same expenses, um, especially to keep that land, uh, the weeds down, um, erosion under control. And I've, we've only probably got around 400 acres in production. So I, that's our compromise already. Um, I don't, I don't know how much more we can compromise without going out of business. The meeting is open to the public and begins shortly at 7 p.m. Doors will open at 6.30. Lee, 